Waffles on deck. Turkey bacon going. Almost time to eat. Almost time to eat. So it's sort of been a while since I made a video, so I figured I'd update everyone on what I've been doing. Um, you take a look here. Look at all those tabs open. And I mean, that kind of is a reflection of <clears throat> uh, my life right now. So a lot of things going on. Um, class started again last week and turned this bacon. And I'm taking some, some pretty hard classes. I'm taking exercise physiology, um, biology, some classes that are, require some time. They both have labs that are they go with it. And I'm um, taking some other classes too. But um, I'm also doing some work for this event next month, this fitness event. And so I have to design few t-shirts um, and then print them and stuff so you got to do that and then I have cricket a lot of cricket fish stuff I'm trying to do and I'm trying to still make videos so that's kind of why I've been lagging behind um, and then just laziness over the break but I'm trying to get back into it at least one video a week that's what I'm trying to do I have an idea for a video that I've been working on for a long time like most of these tabs here are uh, for that one video, but um, I'm trying to find a place where I can shoot it so that it looks like how I want it to look. Um, but that's that's it for now. That's a quick little update. Um, we'll see what this video consists of today because I'm not even sure. And for that one second, the earth stood still. <laughs> oh man, I'm about to kill it. Oh, just give me a few seconds. It's all going to be gone. So I'm done with the last class for today. It's about 5.30 probably. Um, I got here around 12. Man, this morning was hectic, just getting all my food together, making sure my gym bag is ready. Um, just all kind of stuff that I'm not used to doing because of the break and because I'm not having long classes, long days of classes last semester. But I'm at my car trying to get my gym bag, drop my backpack off, and I'm about to go hit a uh, leg power day on the fat program so I'll be squatting heavy and then doing some other stuff some accessory stuff um, it's kind of nice up here I'm at the top floor of the uh, the parking garage it's nice to just take a second and relax because man today was that well today wasn't too bad but in general my stress level is high probably releasing a bunch of cortisol but we're going to see how, how today's gym session goes. In general, tra training has been going pretty good. Um, I'm focused on other things more, so I'm still progressing, but it's just not as, as you know, I'm not going as ham as I was before. But um, we'll see. Maybe I'll hit a PR today or something. That'd be cool. All right, so I'll see y'all. What's up everyone? So it's a Friday afternoon. Man, the sun is there. That's better. It's a Friday afternoon and I finished my chest and arms workout a little bit ago. But I'm here at the Boca Town Center Mall because they have an American Apparel in here. And um, I'm thinking about using American Apparel shirts for Crooked Fit going forward. So instead of purchasing the shirt like I was thinking of doing, I'm just going to go inside and I'm going to try it on. So. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on me when I'm inside. And um, it's the shirt that Rogue Fitness uses for their shirts. So if you've ever had a Rogue Fitness shirt or you've seen them, uh, they seem to fit really nice. And uh, they must react pretty well to sweat. It's a poly cotton blend so because uh, people work out on them all the time. And I've never heard anybody complain. I've only heard good things. So thinking about using that and hopefully you can see me. And... Um, should be pretty exciting, so I'm gonna go try to find it. Small is humongous, but I think I'll be able to find it. Yeah. 
What's up guys? I am on my way to the post office because I actually have an order that is going out to Australia. So that is pretty awesome. Um, mind you, shipping to Australia was a dollar under the order's total cost. So I am making no money <laughs> on the order. And uh, actually I'm losing a little bit of money, but that's okay. We're having the first Crooked Fit shirt hitting Australia, which is pretty cool. Earlier this morning, I also made um, a purchase for a bunch of shirts for the event that's next month. So while it hurt my wallet a lot to do that, I know it was needed. So I have racerbacks coming for the women and some shirts, some nice American apparel, 50-50 poly cotton blend shirts coming for the guys. And I know, I promise if you buy that shirt, you will like what you're wearing you will look forward to wearing that shirt because um, I tried on many different shirts and that came out to be uh, the best one so that is what's going to be coming I need to get the images the final images over to the screen printer oh there's another thing I have to show you guys in relation to Crooked Fit there is a new new logo I got done um, and it'll be interesting to see how I use it in the future because I don't want it to be the only logo associated with Cricket Fit, but definitely one of them. So um, I'll try to show that later so you guys know what I'm talking about. But I'm really excited to get that stuff done and get this package out to Australia. Hopefully he's satisfied with the shirt. And uh, yeah, so that's it. I'm gonna go ship this off. So here it is. Here is the new Cricket Fit logo. I had a guy do it, um, and he, I think his name is Darko, and he was really great at getting what I wanted, and he gave me a few different versions of the file. But So this, if you've seen my other shirts, which you should have if you're watching, or if you've purchased one, if you're one of those few people, <laughs> you'll see that this was the old logo that I used. And while there's nothing wrong with it, it's just not mine. Now, I didn't steal it, but my brother made this logo originally, and um, he's deciding to bring back the clothing company that is going to use this in the summer. So he just kindly asked that I sort of shy away from it. So that's why I went and I moved to this guy here. So we're seeing a lot more of this, uh, no more of this, and this is so far... Um, what I've done with it so far, added a circle, overlaid it with color, and uh, I think, I think, oh, I think this might be the design I'm going to do, possibly minus the sleeve thing, for the event, or at least one of them. So, I'm really excited to use this logo here. I was really happy with how it's done, and also to use it in the future. It'll be uh, it'll be really really cool and a lot of fun. So, new logo here. Associate this with Cricket Fit. Uh, cool little rhino. I tried to somewhat incorporate the, you know, the arrow type slants in here. You can sort of see it if you use your imagination. <laughs> Came home to a package. I wonder what this is. I actually already know what it is. It's uh, the future canvas on which my dreams will be placed. Okay. Aka shirts that will be printed on. For the next crooked fit stuff. Oh, this is, this is actually really exciting. So, let me show you what we got working here. So, here's some, uh, oh man, these are, these are pretty nice. These are the racer bags. So, finally, I'm gonna have some female stuff, some actual female stuff. This is a racerback, a group of them. This is a group of white 
racer back. So I'm going to put this design right here on this racer back. Uh, this is one of my favorite designs by far. So I think uh, it would look really good on, you know, on something designed for women. So they don't have to buy, you know, the size I sold most in the shirt was smalls. And they were women who just bought the smallest size shirt I had for men. So I'm going to make one for the females out there for sure. And I have red, a bunch of red men's uh, American apparel and gray. And I'm going to do them up nice. And I'm excited. I'm going to work on getting the images to the printer today. So I can get this stuff going. Then in about probably 16 days from from uh, probably from today they'll all be done and I give you plenty of time for the event because that is in 24 days so excited to get this stuff done and I only other thing I have to do for the event is make sure I have a banner so uh, and other decorations for the booth so all oh, the stickers should be coming in soon too and also a credit card reader so when I'm at the booth I can uh, have people use their cards if they want to. So, ah, oh, it's a good feeling getting stuff done, and this is uh, this is good, a good sign, progress.